Right. So coming to next scenario, today we are going to discuss introduction part of the uh, database administration, SQL Server DB. Here basically we have different things here, like uh, administration is different and uh, development is different. Right, and so this course is uh, completely related to I mean, completely related to database administration part only. And now, forget about development activities because this course is completely related to administration part only. Okay, no? Right. All right. So can you hear me now? Right. So in development administration means uh, it is completely related to support environment, supporting different databases, different database servers. This is purely comes under development environment. Here we are going to work with uh, number one, ticket based work. What is the meaning of ticket? So let me explain it uh, clearly. For example, you are working for some client. So your client is from America. Okay. So they're maintaining some databases and uh, database servers here. So now there are some users. Like this, we have some users. These users are going to work with these databases and the database servers. I mean, they are going to perform different types of operations here. So when they are performing operations here, if they are facing any issues, I mean any errors, they will send it to DBA team. Suppose you are a DBA, right? So now if they are facing any issues here, they will send those issues related scenarios to your team. That is in the form of ticket. So who is this here? Here we have our DBA ticket. So now ticket means it is the error message whatever we are receiving from our client. That is called as ticket. Okay, and now coming to next scenario. After receiving ticket, what you do, you're going to accept the ticket. Then you have to resolve it. So now you just connect it to database servers and find out the issue. What is the issue exactly? Based on that, you can go for a resolution. Okay. But remember, when we are working with these tickets, we have some concept called as SLE. Service level agreement. So based on SLA, tickets and ticket priorities will be defined. So different companies will maintain different priorities. Suppose maybe. I'm giving you some information here. Suppose you received P1 ticket. You have to resolve it immediately. 
suppose you received p2 ticket then you can take 48 hours time for the resolution suppose you received p3 ticket you can take four days time for the resolution suppose you received p4 ticket you can take one week time for the resolution so like this different prioritized tickets based on the issue based on type of the issue so different <coughs> prioritized tickets there and we are going to receive them from the client and based on that we will resolve them so this is the work we are going to perform every day you are going to receive some tickets and you are going to resolve those tickets okay and coming to next scenario now ma maximum scenarios in database administration what happens you know we receive almost same type of tickets i mean repeated tickets we are going to receive for example uh, I will give you some error message also, error number also. Suppose you receive ticket like uh, 18456. Okay, so 18456 means user unable to log into your SQL server. There is some user, user is trying to connect to SQL server and they are getting this error, 18456 error they are getting. So now you received the ticket. So what to do after receiving ticket? Check the error message. What is the error exactly? Okay. You have to check the error message in the beginning. After that, Try to understand the issue. For example, you take this case. 18456 means unable to log in. So, the reason is for this type of issue. Suppose user is providing invalid login name or invalid password. That is the reason. So because of this reason, reason only, user is getting this ticket. Okay. So like this, what happens, you know, so suppose today you received this ticket and you know the reason for the issue and you resolved it. After some time, you are receiving, you are receiving same ticket, same resolution will be there. Am I right or not? After some time, if you are receiving same ticket, same resolution will be there, no doubt. Okay, and this is the way. Like how we are working as DBA with the tickets. For different tickets. See, we are going to discuss real-time scenarios in this class. I am going to show you some solutions and the different types of tickets, performance tuning related tickets. Suppose we received these tickets and how to resolve them. Everything I am going to show you very clearly. See, what you need is like you need to practice them. Because here we need practical environment and practical knowledge is required because you are going to work with different types of issues and resolutions, right? So practical knowledge is important for us. If you don't know practical part, then you cannot work. Okay? So this is what the scenario. Now, Coming to other scenarios, like this is uh, one, 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 one part and one part of the one part of the administration. The other part is uh, configurations.
you have to work with configurations and uh, support because you have to configure something then you need to support it because after configuration if any issue is there then we have to resolve that issue that it so these are really important things and so coming to next step now I'll give you a simple example. Suppose we are taking backups from the databases. I mean, configuration and support example I'm giving now. We're taking backup from the databases. Backup means what copy of the database. Right and So why we are taking copy of the databases means security purpose. Suppose you lost your database, you can recover it from the backup, right? That is the reason why we are taking backups. And the next thing is, uh, generally we are going to schedule these backups. Because every day we cannot sit and execute it manually, right? So we are going to schedule these backups. So based on schedule, what happens every day when the schedule time comes, automatically backup will be executed. So the task you are going to schedule here in this SQL server, that is that we call it as job, J-O-B. So like this, we are going to create different types of jobs here in SQL server environment, right? And so coming to next scenario, now, after creating job, you have to monitor it, whether the job is working fine or not. Every day. Every day we have to monitor this job. Right. Because if job is failed, then what happens? You need to uh, resolve it, right? Because if it is failed and it is not running, then backup will not be generated, right? And these are the issues we have. Okay. And this is the way like how we are working. So now coming to next step. Configuration. You are configuring something. Then you are monitoring it. And you are supporting it. So two different roles you are, you are, you are playing here. In database administration. Number one, you have to work with the tickets. That is important thing for us. Then configuration part, this part. So not only backups and backup jobs, we are going to configure a lot of other things. So we are going to work with all of them like in the training part. So we started today only. So tomorrow onwards, we can work with the different things here. Okay. Okay. And coming to next step, I told you like something performance tuning related uh, issues. Resolution. See, here we need some development knowledge. For example, there are some queries. Queries are executing, but queries are taking time for the execution. So now what to do in that case, you have to resolve it. So the white query is taking long time for the execution. These are all we need to find out and resolve it. Write it. For resolving these things, you should know what is query. 
If you don't know what is query, then how can you work? You cannot write. You cannot work with queries part. Queries resolution. But queries are not part of administration training. This is administration training only, right? And but queries are not part of administration, right? So what to do? Do I need to learn separate development training again for this? This is the question from you. No need. So what about the queries part is required for DBA? That part I'm going to take care. That part I'm going to show you in this training on. I'm going to explain in this training on. Okay. So now the thing is development is different. Administration is different, but some part of the development is required for administration, DBA. That part I'm going to explain. You no need to learn separate course for this. In this training only, we are going to cover all of the, all, all those things like uh, queries related scenarios and performance tuning related scenarios, performance related issues resolution. A lot of other stuff is also there that we are going to discuss now. Here. Okay. So now coming to next step, I will provide you model resumes, interview questions. And sometimes we can, if you are really okay, then we will go for some mock interviews. I'll conduct some mock interviews also. Okay. And so, Course content, you can download it from uh, Microsoft, sorry, um, the Gasoft website. Right, and so there we already uploaded it, SQL Server DBA course content, you can download it from there. And coming to next scenario, just with, I'm giving you a overview only, what you're going to do as DBA. Because after getting job, you're going to work with the project, right? So in that project, how you're going to work? What type of operations you are going to perform? Right. So these are all we are going to discuss in this training part. But we have clarity. Gayatri is looking for a DBA only. Dharani Kumar, uh, can you hear me? Dharani? You are muted, unmute and talk to me. Otherwise, please send a message. We have chat option here. In that, please send a message. Dharani, can you hear me? Ah, Dharani, actually, are you looking for a DBA or a development, Dharani? DBA only, no? Okay, right. So now, any questions in the concepts, whatever I discussed, Gayatri or Dharani? Any questions from your end for this? Because tomorrow I want to start with regular topic. So far, no questions, Gayatri. Okay, Dharani. Because just introduction only, no? that's why we are doing some less time, around half an hour. But tomorrow onwards, it will be one hour session. Then we are good, right? So now let's do one thing. Let's close it for today. And tomorrow onwards, we'll start same time, same link. But it will be one hour, one, one hour session from tomorrow onwards. Okay, now? Right, guys. Okay.
Okay then. See you.